Michael here. Uh, the Conservatives turned up with a uh, double sided A4, kind of mentions a uh, few things, sort of them in the developing part, and hopes they come out the other end. Uh, I think it would be appropriate at some point in time, but it never happens, uh, that uh, the opposition members uh, turn up uh, with a properly prepared uh, alternative budget, but it never happens. And if I could just close my remarks by saying, uh, if we met opposition members uh, on the street any day of the week, uh, I'm sure you'd all be very sensible and charming people. But coming in here, it seems to me that you suffer from two things, really. One, insomnia, uh, or a total denial about what's happening uh, around the place. And looking at your list of uh, objectives and proposals, um, well, first of all, I think I'd like to mention that uh, Councillor Drury really talked about uh, Greenwich time and the fact that the uh, opposition members weren't getting any publicity, etc., etc. Uh, but I kind of picked up the, uh, uh, the Mercury last week, and uh, uh, I looked out my window some mornings and think that I see uh, Councillor Drury in a Superman outfit flying across my window, ready to charge into another dynamic uh, agenda uh, that he feels inappropriate. And on this occasion, he's talking about health service, which I want to deal with uh, in a moment. Um, and the proposals set out in the amendments, Mr. Mayor, uh, relate to a number of things that uh, are kind of picked up uh, and just turned around. Uh, we've been discussing for months and they all of a sudden become conservative policies. And the London Living Ways is an interesting one. Because when you, when the conservatives talk about the London Living Wage, it's as if uh, they've now found a new faith. They've got to champion the cause of poor people. <coughs> but interestingly, uh, in the last year, the number of zero hour contracts in the country has increased to 1.8 million. That's the kind of philosophy uh, that's going on. The other important uh, point uh, that's raised is in relation to, I think that the throwaway comment by Council Drury uh, was with regard to an increase in health funding. Well, of course, that isn't the case. Because the Conservatives have constantly reduced the budget on the NHS year after year after year. And if you look at, at the the reality is that they've been cosmetic in their approach to the care fund and have actually um, taken lots of money out of the clinical commissioners, but threw, threw some money back. But overall, the amount of money that, they've, that the uh, health economy has lost in the borough has reduced significantly. And I'm very happy to work uh, right in a new course uh, with uh, regard to that. And the final point I wanted to make, Mr. Mayor, with regard to uh, the uh, 2.2, uh, talking about the war based structures. Um, because all of a sudden, uh, you become the tenant friends. Uh, but in actual fact, your national party has been chipping away uh, at uh, tenant rights uh, and uh, the bedroom tax all over. We'll have a debate later on. Uh, moves her uh, motion. Because if you are honest about your intentions, then hopefully at some point uh, before the close of the council meeting, uh, you will actually own up to the fact uh, that the policies that uh, are being that you support centrally are, are totally against the interests of the community you allege to support. 